Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As you know, Russia has sanctions imposed on its economy and uh, not only, right? And those sanctions are supposed to uh, destroy the uh, Uc uh, Ukrainian uh, Russian will, desire to uh, survive and oppose other um, countries um, determined actions to rule over everybody else. We don't give names here, but we know who is who. The problem is that uh, their expectations are not meeting the, you know, the desired um, goals, which is Russian economy being kneeled. On the contrary, is doing better than uh, the European economy. So, we have an article here from um, Sputnik, it's from today, the 11th of uh, November 2022. This is the title. European Commission lowers forecast for decline in Russia's 2022 GDP from 10.4% to 5.1%. So again, the European Commission had a little forecast and said, well, the Russian um, GDP will fall about 10.4% this year. But no, actually they now forecast to be half of that, 5.1. So how can you be so off? That's a big drop. I mean, it's like I estimate uh, to go to work and be paid $100,000 and I'm paid $50,000. Don't you think that's a big drop? How could I just uh, forecast such a uh, situation so, so badly that I have to slash it in two? What didn't I take into consideration? Who are the experts? Where are they? How much money they make? Are they still employed? Don't tell me we made mistakes. Yes, we did, but not like that. And that's your job. I mean, a lot of people suffer because certain kind of decisions were made with the goal of reaching certain kind of uh, points, fulfill certain kind of uh, intentions, plans. Well, what now? It's not what you thought it's going to be, it's half. So you met the expectations or you think you're going to meet the expectations halfway. Well, I'm not going to give you uh, $100,000, I'm going to give you half of that. How would you like that? If I owe you $100,000, I'm going to give you half. So just you, you put in the, in the context how much that, how off that is. So the European Commission has lowered its forecast for a decline in Russia's 2022 GDP from 10.4% to 5.1% according to the autumn 2022 economic forecast released on Friday. So today, at the same time, the European Commission now expects a 2.3% decline in Russia's GDP in 2023 instead of a 1.5% increase predicted this spring. These guys, I can't remember who said that, but someone said that the economists are, are as good as, I mean, can predict the future in economic terms as good as an astrologist can uh, uh, predict or something. Anyway, this um, unbelievable, they're off. You can be, as I said, you're 50%, you're up or down, and here is 50% off. Despite the fact, this fact, Russia's economy will start growing in 2024 after reaching 0.9%, the document read. From, for comparison, the Russian Ministry of Economic Development has predicted at, as a 2.9% decline in the country's GDP in 2022, a 0.8% fall in 2023, and a 2.6% increase in both 2024 and 2025. So the Russians think half of the 5.1% will decline in GDP in 2022. Um, and they, I think they match the same 2.3% uh, decline in 2023. And these guys say, well, no, it's going to be uh, whatever, 26 So. I love when, uh, when uh, sanctions work and I wonder who is responsible for this forecast. 
Because when you make a decision, let's say you, go, you say, okay, I'm going to buy a house. Well, you make your little calculations, right? And you, first you see if you can afford how much money comes in, come in, and how much money goes out, what's the surplus, and then based on that, can I afford? Can I pay the house cash? No, if I can't pay cash for it, pay it off, then I'm going to need a loan. If I get a loan, how much I'm going to put a pay down? If I put this pay down, I'm going to remain with this, I'm going to take a loan, what's the interest rate? You know, you have to calculate because when you get that, and you have to put things in, in, the, in, in the whole calculation as much as you can. And most uh, homeowners will make this mistake. They say, okay, that's the interest rate. I can pay it. That's fine. But they don't take into consideration these two aspects that they will realize when they move in. And there is the utilities cost, which is electricity, water, you know, gas, and the property taxes. So these two things are going to flip them. These are usually the calculations homeowners don't make. They say, well, I can pay this. Uh, uh, loan, this is how much it's going to be for uh, uh, each month with the interest of this, this, this percentage. That's good. Yeah, but when you move in, you start consuming electricity, gas, uh, water, and so on. And when the bill comes, you realize, opa, that's a little calculation I didn't expect. Or, like these weasels, <laughs> that's double, I thought. And then you, you know the taxes. Taxes usually are spoken about in the first meeting when you say, I'm going to buy the house, okay, and they ask you, okay, why, how do you want to pay the taxes? You want the taxes to be included in the loan or whatever, um, you know, um, you, you, it's withdrawn from the loan, you can divert it, blah, 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 or we can, you can pay it if you want every month uh, out of your, so you can calculate that, but the utilities, usually you left them out of your calculation, that's a big mistake. So what I'm saying, I'm surprised that these guys are off so much and the Russian economy is not going down as much as they thought. And if you compare that with uh, what the situation is in Great Britain, for instance, or the European Union, or in, let's say, Hungary, or I guess Turkey, or I guess uh, Germany, France, and United States, you find out that these sanctions on Russian economy did not take a toll as they thought. They thought in, uh, what, 24 hours to 48 hours, the ruble will mean nothing, which it did for about, as I said, 24 hours, and then it bounced back more uh, than uh, where it was. The Russians were ready for this. And then all these sanctions did not destroy the economy. You didn't have mass protests or strikes in Russia, as you see in France, as you saw in other European countries. Uh, Great Britain is going to get in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in big trouble because uh, it seems like they're doing very bad and go down, 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 more than even the Russians. We'll see what's going on. This, uh, they say, they, again, the economists and politicians say that, oh, when uh, this thing in Ukraine will end, if there's going to be a this process and the sanctions will be lifted, the world economy will shoot up. Well, but they have this racket uh, ready for us with the climate bullshit. You watch that one. There's gonna be, that's going to be bad, bad for us, good for them. They're going to make all kind of little regulations and rules for us that's going to affect us more than the people that make, I don't know, $500,000 a year and up. You're going to see. And I do not like that a bit. Well, they got us. They got the weasels. Look what happened with, uh, with the COVID-19. They got the weasels. They made everybody comply with this and that. So they knew, okay, now is the time. We got so many people that are so easily manipulated and scared we're gonna push forward and you see how is that thing uh, own nothing and be happy we're getting towards that i really i really see that uh, you know showing up in uh, i don't know about uh, if this continues as it is maybe in two years thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just